Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. When last we left off, an adventurer is threatening to conquer all of my territory, and the Holy War is going terribly. In terms of the adventurer, I am unable to get people to actually back a plot to kill him because they don't like me. Well, I've just got to get ready for a potential invasion, don't I? In other news, Gaston of France is busy destroying Aragon his army of 8,700 men. Even if this army were to all rally together. Look, they're all just uniting right now. It'll be s Yep. Oh dear. My reputation is ruined! Oh dear. Oh dear, the plot has been ousted. That did not go so well. Oh, my reputation's only ruined over there. It's not a bad thing. Also, you totally crushed that army. 50% war score for Gaston. <laughs> like, this is not going well for Gaston at all. I mean, actually, this is going well for Gaston. I mean, it's not going well for, um... The Queen of Aragon. 64% war score. Who else has joined in? Not many people, just... She just seems to have got very unlucky. With, um, so my plot is destroyed. Basically, it's been uncovered, so... There's really not much chance that it's going to uh, do anything in particular. My steward has left. Let us find a new one. Find a new one and ready for the eventual trouble that I'm going to be in. 7,000 men, eh? This is not going well. 68% war score in favor of Prince Gaston the Wise. He's done very well for declaring that war. And I haven't helped him at all. He's done this all off his own forces and his own allies. I could try and stop him, but I get the feeling that won't happen. Look, they just send a massive army over to crush even more of his soldiers. And uh, then he is on 72% war score. She won't give up until 100%. That much is true. You're still alive! 72. Still alive. Still going. That war is a shambles. Also, I don't know if the plot actually went ahead because the threat is gone. The threat is gone and yet... No war. Let's hope that that war never happens. There's also a war here for uh, independence, and uh, do I want this territory? Actually, no. I don't want any territories right now, primarily because I want to hold on to as much territory as I can and have as much spare um, space free for when I eventually become emperor. Also, um, yeah, your armies have, ev have got even bigger. I think you're going to win. You're going to win this war, and I'm going to lose Brittany. I'm going to lose Brittany. There are 14 known plots, none of which I'm really bothered about right now. Oh, he's in prison. Well, that'll deal with a plot quite nicely. I think it's time to cancel the plot. No need to kill a guy who's already in jail. I'm totally going to, uh... Get the boats ready. We're all ready for the, uh, attempt on their territory, sir. Let me just steal this loaf of bread. HALT, CRIMINAL! Oh, blast. And then he ended up in prison. His plans ruined. You're still defending in that war. King Keith II of France. Awesome. King Keith. How is this war going? 73% war score. You. For this person. You're going for a territory. Fair enough. <laughs> Portugal is indeed getting large. Very large. Hmm. Not sure how much of this territory I'm going to be able to hold on to if I become the uh, emperor. And also, you're currently defending 
against various wars yourself. You only have a claim on one territory. If I matrilineally marry you off... Okay, that's not gonna work. That is not gonna work. Yeah, this, uh... This holy war. Going poorly, I think is the word. Going very poorly. Your war going really well. 75% war score now. You're just sat there besieging. My cousin has become of legal age, has come of legal age and can marry no one interesting matrilineally, so hmm. If anything, this empire gaining is going to be intriguing. Some people have assured me have assured me that uh, it's all going to be all right, but I'm not so confident. I am not so confident at all. The last thing I want to end up is a vassal of an emperor. I've done all that I can alone. But I have no desire to be under somebody else's boot. This war is done, by the looks of it. 76% war score. Even more war score. 79% war score. Yeah, this is... This is very done. Kinswoman, educate. Who will educate this person? You! Seems perfect. Seems perfect. How is my son? How is my grandson? Whoa, whoa, whoa! No! Educated by me, thank you. Me, not you. He's already got the gluttonous trait. Oh dear. That's terrible. Stewardship minus two. Oh. That's not good at all. I'm not educating anyone anyway. That's really bad. Hmm. Oh well, I suppose it's a trait I'll have to get used to. Or at least try and get rid of. I'm just hoarding all of my cash. My wife is pregnant. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I'm 54 and she's 44. Fair enough. One more child. My beloved Uncle Keith is concerned that he is not married. I will arrange a marriage for you. How about a princess of Serbia? There you are. I will find you someone nice. You are no longer the guardian. Hmm. I've lost my chancellor. Well, you'll do. You'll do. I don't feel like fabricating claims anywhere, to be truthful. Hmm. I don't feel like fabricating claims anywhere. Maybe there. Just for no particular reason. Anyone else need educating? My cousin. Um, and who will be sufficient? You will be suitable. Perfect. A son was born. You're having a lot of children. Probably because there's a good chance that you might get elected to be the, um... The leader of the Holy Roman Empire at some point. This war, by the way, not going well. And as we zoom in on this war, this war is all but done. I mean, look at this. 80 odd percent war score. 85 in favor of Prince Castor. Charity! Didn't work. So you're greedy and gluttonous. Oh dear. Oh dear! Then... Then... My mother died. And I became the Emperor. Of the Byzantine Empire. Emperor Stefan has inherited the Byzantine Empire and other titles. Stop. Pause the game. I am now Emperor. Good call, by the way, trying to claim that territory, but when you've claimed it, 
It will be under my control. This territory is now mine, and I'm fighting wars as well. I'm fighting wars. Oh. I've inherited wars. I can't raise any levies. There's a liberation revolt. Okay, okay. Let's stop here. Let's pause. I am now emperor. This has happened. What is going on with the Byzantine Empire? Okay, centralization is low. Is very low. But it is low so that I can keep all this territory. I have way too much territory now. This is a problem. And I need to uh, sort that out. I could create ten titles. Like the titular Kingdom of Cyprus. I could call in allies. I could usurp titles. Okay, first things first, we should invest in some... interesting things here. Uh, legalism? Noble custom? Good plan. Noble custom is good. Uh, improved keeps? Uh, I feel like we might need some heavy inventory power here. Right, that's done. We can create ten titles, including whole kingdoms. Kingdom of Bulgaria, Kingdom of Serbia, Kingdom of Croatia. We can just create kingdoms. We can usurp titles. I am not interested in usurping titles right now. They were right. Um, it's actually not very centralized at all, this kingdom. Which, on the plus side, means that I can keep all of this, king this empire together. On the downside, it means that I have way too many territories. Way too many, and I need to sort that. I need to sort that now. So, I need to start handing out territories. Who are in my court that would be suitable? Do you have any territory at all? You do not. How about I give you some territory? How about I give you Vienna? That has reduced my levy, my uh, vassal size, but it has, of course, increased my actual amount of vassals that I have. So this could be bad. This could be pretty awkward. Hmm. I am now the Emperor, though. What was once Wales is now Byzantine. So, what else can I do? What other territories do I have? I have here. Well, that, I don't want that. That's all the way over there. No thank you. Uh, anybody interesting who would want that? You might want that. Would you like that? There you are. Okay, that's meant that I have to get someone else educated by somebody different, but uh, you'll be fine. Okay. Just need to get rid of some territories, because my word, do I have loads of them. I have this one as well. It's like, I don't want that either. So we'll find someone else to have that. Uh, you. My uncle. There you are. Would you like this? This puts us over the vassal limit. However, it will mean that I can sort that. I can just lump people together. I could give away some crowns. I could educate this person, but why should I? Also, I have a fancy crown now, because I am an emperor. And this means that I can actually now get uh, dukes to accept vassalization pretty easily. Actually, you'll be fine. Look at you doing it. Oh, wait. Nope. Nope. Let's start again. Start again. Educate. Send. Good. Okay. What other territory do I own that I don't want? This one. I don't want that. I'm just sort of just throwing territories away to my various, uh, like, relations. I'll be like, you, sir! Why don't you have this territory over here? But I want Constantinople. This is a problem. I want to keep Constantinople. But now that I'm a king, I think it's time that I start handing away, like, this territory here. And, oh, I've actually handed that territory. I can hand this territory away. Karuna. Karuna I can give away. 
to you! Yes, you seem perfect. Would you like Karuna? Have Karuna. There you are. And while we are here... Oh no, we'll deal with the, the vassals later. I might also be tempted to hand that territory away as much as I don't want to. What else could I hand away? I might have to hand over bits of Wales. And I really don't like that idea. I really don't like that idea at all. <laughs> Unless I give up Constantinople. Constantinople is just too strong. It is just too strong. Look at it. Has massive armies. Massive, massive armies. I give away Constantinople. I'm giving away a huge amount of power. Oh, it's a tricky decision. Right now, I just need to get my vassal limit down. Okay, okay. How can we reduce the vassal limit a bit? We can reduce the vassal limit a bit by going, hey, uh, transfer vassalage of this guy over to you. That reduces it by one. Okay, next. Transfer vassalage of this person. She already somebody else's vassal? She is already somebody else's vassal. Okay, so we can't do that. We can't do any of that. We can't do any of that. They're all pretty much self-contained. What else can we do? Okay, there are probably some counts just lying around here that need a... Uh... Okay, you are in this duchy. Is there a duke? There is a duke. Let us transfer vassalage over to you, shall we? There. Vassalage transfer complete. There is another one. Who is meant to be in this one? Where is the duke of this? There you are. Would you like a vassal? Of course you would. Have him. We are now within the vassal limit, but we are not within the domain limit. Also, look at the money I'm earning. I could just hold on to all this. I could just stubbornly decree that I am holding on to everything. Constantinople, Gwent... There. Oh, there. I suppose I should probably give that up. Probably give that up. Also, we probably have access to a better steward now. I have access to a much better steward. Oh, I'm the Emperor! And it's not gone too terribly. Apart from that... If I could get a domain size of, like... Seven? That would be great. Like, a domain of seven. I'm not the best at stewardship. Neither is my son. But my son, son, is going to be awful at everything. I could create kingdoms. I could just bestow kingdoms on people. I could create the titular kingdom of Cyprus. I could create anything. I'm rich. I have a thousand gold. And I've not yet made time actually continue because I'm a bit worried about that guy for a start. Claiming another kingdom and becoming a king under me. <laughs> that I'm not looking forward to. I could just be really cheeky and give the kingdom to someone else on here. But I should probably give that territory away. I should probably give that territory away. To, uh... How about to somebody else in my, uh, court? How about you? How about you? You seem good. Would you like to be the Count of here? Yes, please! Yes, I thought you might. I thought you might. Hmm. And I suppose I should probably transfer some vassalage somewhere else. Like over here, maybe. You are meant to be the vassal of... Someone else. I'll make... You're in hiding. Interesting. Um, you. There you are. That's sorted. So when we come back, folks, I think I might make this guy the king of uh, Brittany if I have to. And then he can be the king of Aragon. 
He'll still be very powerful, mind you. But all those vassals will suddenly end up under my control. Oh, no. All those vassals are going to end up under my control. Oh, no, wait. He'll be the king. They'll all be under him. In theory. This is all going to go very wrong, isn't it? Especially with the fact that there is minimum crown authority. I want low crown authority. I want low crown authority. I, I want to risk it. But when we come back, folks, I am now Emperor Stefan the Great, the first emperor, the Maelor Emperor of the Byzantine Empire. The Byzantine Empire is mine. Mine to lose, because don't forget, I still have two wars to fight. I'll catch you next time, and I'll see you then. Later. Also, my capital has moved to here. Oh well, should probably move everybody over to here then. Well, catch you later. See you then. Later.